Hello. It's a chilly one, but the colours are nice. The tree's nice. See it? Ah, glorious. Do you remember we used to live in a world where we were friends and we could have a difference of opinion? Do you remember that? It's funny, I grew up and uh, listened to my music. I was into my rock music and... Um, just kind of pop stuff really, Motown and uh, all sorts of different bits and bobs. Go boat! And one of our friends was really in to um, choir type stuff. I used to watch it on the telly, watch kids singing in a cathedral. Just his way, his thing. And we said, I don't like it, not for me, but you know, good for you. Whatever. And we used to have friends who played football. Some people hated football. And they played golf or cricket. I played nothing. I hated sport. Still do, you know. I don't ever... I'm not interested in football, watching a bloody football match, imagine. No thank you. Uh, I do like boxing, I have to admit, I really do like boxing. And um, I've kind of been semi-following it since I was a kid. I used to watch uh, Muhammad Ali, obviously, Joe Bugner, and uh, people like that. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm still into it, you know. Uh, I think Mike Tyson probably was my favourite. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, I, I know the person, Mike Tyson. Bit of an arsehole, whatever. But um, as a fighter, as a boxer, he was incredible. My favourite boxer at the moment is... Um, a Japanese guy, Naya Inoue. Is it Naya Inoue? You'd have to have a look. But he's incredible, absolutely incredible. If you think of boxing as just, you know, some bloke punching your face in, it's far more than that. It's absolutely incredible. You know, the false moves and... Um, Yeah, just the way he beats his opponents is masterful. It's intelligent. It really is intelligent fighting. It's incredible. I think his name is Nayu. Is Nayu Nayu Inuwe? I think his surname is I N U E A. Maybe Inuwe Nayu. So his first name is N A Y O A. Something like that. Nayu Inuwe. If you're ever into boxing, little skinny, tiny little Japanese guy. My God, the power. I watched uh, a video the other day and they did it with no um, compares, no, no crowd noise, no nothing like that. And um, you could hear the strength of these punches. It was like a juggernaut hitting somebody. Doof, like that, incredible. So much power from this little tiny body. But yeah, I think he's my favourite um, for now. But on the whole, I didn't like sport growing up. I certainly, as a teenage boy or whatever at school, I didn't want to do football, rugby, cricket. No thank you. I didn't want to do anything like that. It wasn't my thing. But that was fine. And uh, my mate said, yeah, that's cool. And my mate said, sometimes in the summer, should we all, all have a game of footy? Well, apart from you, Bri, but, you know, she'll... Uh, and I was quite happy. I'd sit there and, and watch them or whatever. And 
you know, half time, they'd come over and have a chat and we'd have a drink or whatever and they'd go back and kick it ball around. You know, it just wasn't my thing, but that was fine for them. They said, yeah, it's cool, whatever. But I don't do that, that's cool. But I liked poetry as a child. And they said, oh, I don't understand it, but that's cool, you know, whatever. Do you remember those days when you could be like that, couldn't you? You had a difference of opinion. And now we have a difference of opinion since 2020. It started in 2020. You have a difference of opinion, whatever that opinion may be. And people say, oh, well, he's lost a bloody plot. Oh, bro, he's lost a plot. He really has. Maybe they're right. Maybe. So I try not to judge. Try and fail sometimes, but I try not to judge anybody for their beliefs, for the way they think, for what they, um, the things they value or don't value or appreciate or don't appreciate or want or don't want in their life. That's fine, isn't it? They do whatever they do. Beautiful boy, ain't you, eh? Ready? And I just accept the differences. And that's how we should all be. So from now on we should try to be like that. We really should. It's important to accept people's differences. I mean, surely who wants to be all the same? Imagine if everybody on the, this earth thought the same as me or the same as you in whatever you think. Imagine if everybody all nodded in agreement. Oh, yeah, yeah, I totally agree, 100%. You know, then there would be no opposition to things. There wouldn't be anybody to vote for, would there? Because you'd all be thinking the same thing. you think, oh, let's vote for... So everybody, 100%, would go and vote for if they all thought the same. But some people vote, some don't. And that always used to be okay. And of course now, since 2020, things have changed. And if you don't vote, it's, oh, you're an arsehole. Oh, thanks very much. But never mind. Uh, if you don't vote, you can't have a say. Really? Work it out. Or they say, uh, if you don't vote, your vote goes, right? I don't, I don't vote. I'm, so I don't have a vote. But your vote goes to another how can my vote go anywhere? I didn't vote. A load of rubbish. I used to say that your vote goes anywhere. When you vote in a pencil that can be rubbed out, it's uh, when your vote could be put on the wrong pile, or millions of wrong votes. Come on, vote this way. But yeah. We should all live... How we want to live with our own thoughts, ideas and opinions and accept and value and appreciate other people think different ways. Do you know I've got friends, right, that they're... This is another thing that shows religion. Some people cannot accept that some people are either religious or not religious. You know, oh, you're religious, well, you're an arsehole. Oh, well, you don't believe in God? Oh, you're an arsehole. Christ almighty... I've got friends that are very, very religious. I've got friends that are, you know, sort of religious. I've got friends who's, who are atheists. And I've got friends who absolutely hate religion. 100% hate it. And do you know what? For me, each one of those person people are valued in my mind and their opinions. Hello there. They're their opinions are perfectly valid. But something happened in 2020 to make... Um, I'm saying something. Something happened in 2020 to make us go against people. And uh, if people weren't going down the government and media route 
and accepting that as gospel. Oh, the government always tell the truth and the media always tell the truth, so I will go and do their thing in life. That's great. I chose not to. I chose to do my thing. And I had a number of people, and you probably remember it, even in the comments under the videos. Oh dear. I chose to do my own thing, you know. Always have, always will, you know, and why not? Why not? And if I'm right, I'm right. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If you're right, you're right. If you're wrong, you're wrong, you know. We should um, just accept and value that everybody's different. Everybody does their own thing in life. But, oh no, not now. Not since uh, 2020. Sad. So, I'm very lucky in the fact that I have a number of friends who really think like me. They disagree with me, 100%. Now I think you're totally wrong about this. But we're still mates, we're still friends. And I still love those people, I still care about those people, I still want the best for those people. Of course we think totally opposite. That's how it should be. But I've uh, come up against it, same as you have. Oh, how dare you have a difference of opinion. It's pathetic. Your opinion, your thoughts and everything else makes you you. Makes you unique as well. Continues to be you. Bollocks for everybody else. Doesn't matter what people think. You think what you think. Anyway, get outside if you can. Take care then and be well.